Singer singing in front of thousands at the National Finals Rodeo. And Susie McIntyre continues paving the way for female artists. There's still hope. From growing up in the rodeo circuit to harmonizing with her siblings, Paik and Reba. This Oklahoma native is spreading a positive message through her lyrics and distinctive vocal range at rodeos, festivals, and even cowboy church. When I get where I'm going, on the far side of the skies. Susie McIntyre's success continues with her latest number one country inspirational chart-topping song, Give, featuring John Clark Blackwell. If you want to give love and give it, if you want to feel some forgiveness, and award-winning inspirational country music artist Susie McIntyre is joining us live here in our studio this morning. Thank you so much for being oh, here with so us. so glad to be here. Well, what a career you have had so far. So first of all, you and your husband, Mark Eaton, you guys travel around mm -hmm. uh, sharing a very entertaining and inspirational message, um, not only about music and about your faith, but also about fitness. Kind of tell us more about your career. Uh, well, I uh, the fitness part, I, I um, separated from my first husband in 2007, and I was traveling by myself, and so I got really, really heavy um, pull into uh, the the sonic and uh, order number seven uh, <laughs> with the uh, extra large onion rings and a diet coke and uh, I think I was just trying to kind of fulfill a loneliness there and so you know I um I got uh, learned uh, fitness from my husband. He's a CrossFit trainer. And uh, so we not only do it just to look good, but to feel good and to be ready for life, right. like getting up off the floor to uh, play with my grandkids. Absolutely. Very inspirational <laughs> in itself. Now, tell me more about how important your faith is to you on a daily basis. Oh, my goodness, Abby. Uh, our faith, uh, we wouldn't be able to exist without our faith. You know, we... we uh, I consider God the one who opens the doors for me to be able to go and sing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never been able to have a booking agent, a manager, or anything like that. It's just all been word of mouth. And because of our background in rodeo mm -hmm. and then Reba's great career and how she has paved a way for me, I, I always say, well, they, they figure if Reba's that good, Susie can't be half bad. <laughs> So we've always relied upon word of mouth, and the phone continues to ring. Mm -hmm. And back in 1984, when I turned my life over to the Lord, I got a word from our pastor, and he said, the Lord says to assure you, you will never lack for a place to sing. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's just in the shower, but, <laughs> but hey, right, you now, know what? right now they're still paying me to sing, and it's been an awesome career for the Absolutely. last 30 years. Well, and your family, inspirational family, successful family, and you know, a lot of our RFD-TV viewers, of course, know that your father, I want to get this right, three-time steer roping champion. Yes. So tell us a little more. You mentioned it just a moment ago, but how important is being a part of the rodeo world to you? Oh, um, well, it, it really grounded us. We got to travel a lot. And in those travels, because we would uh, travel up to Cheyenne, Wyoming in the summertime when we were out of school, and uh, we'd get to pal around with other kids that were on the rodeo circuit. And, and in the meantime, back then, we traveled in a car, a little maybe two-horse trailer, mm -hmm. no air conditioning, so four kids in the back seat of that car <laughs> got a little bit rambunctious. And to keep us out of harm's way with Daddy, because his sh uh, fuse was just a little short, our mama taught us how to sing three-part harmony. Very nice. And uh, so she was a singer. She wanted us to sing. And then what evolved out of that, she was the secretary to the school. So she knew that the art teacher was also a musician. So he was the one that taught us an hour a day uh, band, a country and western band, up on the stage, how to... How to uh, project, how to speak in, from a microphone, and maybe even uh, learn an instrument. Oh, very so nice. So three out of the four of us kids have made our living in music. Absolutely. That training has definitely taken mm -hmm. you and your family a long way. So let's talk about some of your accomplishments. You have been named Artist of the Year several times in the field of positive country music, and that includes four number one singles. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. And I also want to mention you were inducted into the Christian Music Hall of Fame back in 2011. Yeah. What do these awards mean to you? Well, it just it's just a kind of a stamp of approval that someone has been watching, you know, uh, watching what's been going on in my life. 
life and and you know the fan base is is there it's uh people who who say yes and vote for those kind of things and say yes you have made an impact in our lives mm -hmm. but you know abby the the greatest uh the greatest award that i can get is when you're when i'm singing and I can see the crowd, which usually I can because our crowds are not that huge. Mm -hmm. And I can see the looks on their eyes when they identify with a lyric mm -hmm. in my in the songs of my makes in the words of, of my song. Oh, it makes all the difference in the it's world. Lovely. And then for a younger person, maybe 14, 15 years old on the way out, to say that was an awesome concert mm -hmm. when I've affected them, and then the 80-year-old grandma that walks out, I think my mission has been accomplished. There you go. Well, what a successful life you lead for sure, touching so many people. Mm -hmm. And good news here, we're going to be able to hear her sing at the end of yep. the next half hour of our Market Day Report. Susie McIntyre, thank you very much for being <laughs> here, and we look forward to hearing your beautiful voice here in the next half hour. Be thank sure to you. stay tuned.